Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. Hope you all are doing good. Managing the manager is our topic today. Some of my friends had asked me to talk about how to handle a bad boss. We need to understand that we cannot change a few things in our life. Or in other words, few things are not in our control. We cannot select our parents. Similarly, most of the time we cannot choose our boss or manager. Also, we need to remember that whenever we interact with anyone, we interact with a human and no human is perfect. So let's not make a perception that my manager is not good. If we have already decided that our manager is not good, then we can never establish a connection with that individual. So let's talk about how to manage our manager. This is more of a positive thing to think and even speak. First thing first, to establish a connection with anyone, the first thing that we need is to focus on to understand the person. Here also, we need to understand our manager as a person, as an individual. Understand his or her liking from a professional aspect and understand his or her style of work. Let's take an example. Suppose your manager is an analytical person, which means he or she always focus on data. Most of the time you will observe that whenever you are presenting any report or a business case, this type of person always look for a data point, right? And these data points are the key for him or her to arrive to a conclusion or a decision. Now, if our presentation does not have the required data point, then he will for sure ask for it. If this happens repetitively, every time, in that case, there is a high possibility that he may show displeasure for not presenting the data point uh, to him on various different occasions. So, all we need to do is understand the social style of our manager. Then we found that the social style is analytical. We need to ensure that we present the data point in all communication whenever, wherever applicable. That's very important. So, basically what we are trying to do is meet the requirement, meet the social style of our manager or of the individual predominantly so that whatever we are presenting, whatever we are delivering, meets the expectation of that individual. Let's get into another example. Suppose your manager is a person who is a fast thinker and complete the task very quickly. Most likely that he will expect the same thing from his team members as well. Now, being in his team, if I am slow in completing the task, then my manager would be perhaps unhappy and may show that unhappiness in various different ways and occasions. This is because, remember this point, this is because it's a human psychology that we think everyone is like myself. So if I am fast, if I complete the task very quickly, fast, take the decision fast, in that case, I will expect the other person, everyone around me will also be like me. Meaning, they will also be fast in completing the task. They will also be fast in making decision. Now, which may not be correct, may not be applicable or ad appropriate all the time. Now, here the problem is, we perhaps know that fact. Now, again, we can't expect that others will be knowing that. So in that case, what will happen if I am unable to match the speed of, of the work that my manager is expecting out of me, then what will happen as an individual, as a team member, I should talk to my manager, express this with my manager. Now, there is no harm in talking about some problem openly, right? See, when you have a problem, saying no problem is the biggest 
mistake that we do. So if there is a problem, let's accept it and talk about it. Yes, there is a problem, right? Now, if we discuss about it, there are two possibilities. One, perhaps my manager will understand that he might, as an individual, I, I mean, I might not be able to match his speed. And his expectation would also change in that case. The second point, second possibility is if he still feel that yes, the everyone or at least in certain occurrences or occasions that my team member or that individual in this case, my, me, will be able to match the expected speed. In that case, I will get the required coaching from my manager. As a result of this coaching or tips, I might be able to complete the task much quickly faster right now remember one more critical point psychologically again most of the time we feel that whatever we think or whatever we do are all correct so when something goes wrong most of the time we think that this wrong thing whatever has happened wrong incorrect has happened because of something else somebody else not because of me now this is a dangerous thought process trust me now what we need to do is we need to introspect we need to see within ourselves right so this can happen with everyone it can happen with ourselves as a team member as well as with our manager also i can make the changes within myself again as i have told earlier we don't have control about others but we have definitely control on ourselves right so in this case please do introspect within yourself and see whatever has happened what is the actual cause of that right similarly if you really found that my manager have done some mistake. So again, have a faith, have a belief within yourself that your manager or our manager is also a human being, not a superman, superhuman, right? They can also make mistake. So they also will have the same behavior. So have some empathy. What I'm trying to say is have some empathy when interacting with an individual so that even if somebody else, say your manager, assume not ideally but assume has misbehaved with you or the way he or she has behaved i didn't like it may happen can happen now if we have empathy in that case we will try to figure out why this has happened right so we that that kind of thought process with uh, thinking through the empathy or using empathy in our thought process reaction and all these things we should be able to control our emotion, control our feeling. This we have talked about, I have talked a lot about in our uh, earlier emotional intelligence sessions as well. So, I am sure with these small tips, it will help you or help all of us to understand ourselves and our manager in a better way. This should help us to improve the relationship with our manager. And finally, if you really feel, not immediately, but after some time, suggest your manager to watch this video. So, in that case, perhaps he or she will also understand if he or she is making any mistake or something wrong. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Have a nice day. And finally, before we conclude, if you or anyone whom you know need any assistance in improving relationship, you can reach out to me by writing an email. The email ID is given in the description of the video and also in the last slide or last portion of the video. You can make a note and write to me. I will be more than happy to assist you, help you. Again, thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Thank you.